Hello. Today's video involves some best practices for when you're ready to start your event. After you've customized all of your settings, you're ready to launch your preset. From your settings, launch the preset by using the blue button in the top right hand corner. Before doing anything else, take a minute to notice the pre-flight check. There are some important bits of information here that you'll want to review before each event and we display a yellow warning icon next to any settings that you might want to take a second look at. The first item in the list is about guided access. Guided access is a feature that's built into your iPad that prevents guests from leaving the app during your event. If you're not familiar with guided access, we have other videos and resources in our help center to help you get that feature set up. Once the feature is ready to go, we triple click the home button which enables the feature, and once that's enabled, you'll see that the warning icon is changed to a blue check mark to indicate that we're all set here. The next item in the list is to check and make sure that the right gallery is selected for the event. This helps you avoid getting pictures from two different events mixed up in the same gallery. The next item in the list is about your Wi-Fi network. This allows you to determine the strength of your Wi-Fi connection. If you have a slow speed, you and your guests might expect that the pictures take a little bit longer to send. The iPad storage space will also be displayed here. We recommend having at least five gigabytes of storage available on your iPad before any event. And if you do have less than five gigabytes available, you'll see a warning and will want to delete some things off of your iPad before the event to make some more space. If you have printing enabled, you'll also see the printer status here in the pre-flight check. When you reach the event and are setting up, we really encourage taking some test shots to make sure that your settings are looking good and the lighting is just right. This test button allows us to launch into test mode, which is a really handy tool. This button allows you to take test shots and easily return to your settings to make quick changes. So let's check it out. Here in test mode, you'll see that it's very easy to either return to the settings if you do take a test shot and find that there are some minor changes you'd like to make, or if you're happy with the results of your tests, you're able to launch straight into booth mode. Let's take a quick test here and make sure that we're happy with our settings. We'll send that off so we can make sure we receive the picture properly. Send and finish, I'll check my email in a second. Other than that, everything looked great to me so we can go ahead and launch into booth mode. Before we launch, we're asked to either delete or keep our test photos. We can go ahead and delete both of these. Now that we've launched into booth mode, you'll see that there are no options to return to your settings. This together with guided access is what prevents guests from leaving your photo booth. While you're not able to return to the preset settings without quitting the app at this point, you do have access to some handy tools available here at the top to start screen. Tap and hold on the screen for two seconds with two fingers and you'll see a new menu come up. This menu contains some information that we saw earlier as part of the pre-flight check, including the Wi-Fi speed as well as your storage space. Another item that's available here that you will not see in other parts of the booth is our offline upload queue. Anytime your Wi-Fi connection is weak or non-existent, the app will queue up any pictures, text messages, and emails and send those out as soon as the iPad reconnects to a more reliable network. At the bottom of the screen, there are a couple of settings that you can change as well, one of which allows you to adjust the opacity of the tap to start screen. So you can make that as transparent as you'd like. Finally, you're able to adjust the camera's exposure here, so if things are looking a little bit too light or dark, you can make up for that. 
And in circumstances where you are indoors and the lighting is going to be very constant, you have the option to lock that exposure as well if you'd like. Be sure to follow all of these steps before any of your events and everything will go off without a hitch.